this statement, I am not the body. Somebody who is close to me is not well. Yes. So, but how do I help somebody who thinks they're ill? Really, to come to the place where you come to that conviction that you are not the body. It's not, it's not just a snap of the finger. Something has been inside this body, and the way the consciousness functions inside this body, it's been slowly preparing the ground for this understanding to really germinate in this. You see? So what you have seen, your eyes have seen, you cannot see for someone else. This is one of the strong experiences of human being. You can only be what you are, and out of your being, perhaps something, if within another, there is the affinity, the resonance, hmm? then it will pick up your charge, and it will dance together something. You see, if you have a similar frequency at some level, then you will somehow be in even conversation, in communion, with even without conversation, it happened. You see? But if they have not come to that place of seeing, and also for yourself, I can say, relax about it. It's not in your hands, or in their hands, or anybody's hands. The universe is doing exactly what it's meant to be doing right now. exactly what it's doing. You cannot force ripen someone. They must come to that for themselves. I understand really, really intimately what you're speaking, because also, for myself also, one of my brothers passed away not long ago, but it, he was not in this way of looking at life. Although something seemed like it's coming around through his own experience, his own pain forced him into some, into just being in the present. Before his mind was oscillating between the past and future, and gradually with this pain, pain can hold you and say, look, you have to be just now. He came to just being now, but it was a kind of physical now. It was physically now, because if I go to yesterday, ah, I had pain. So the pain is holding you into now. But yet, at the same time, we would visit, I would visit to him, and I could not speak about these things, because it is not natural to speak about that. And something, you, you, you have to be in, in harmony with your own vital force. It is not supporting for you to say this. Yeah, exactly. So don't force it. Don't try and slip a quick one in or something, and say something when they are sleeping, like, you know, you are yourself. <laughs> I found this also sometimes even this would feel disrespectful because the universe is not doing it. Accept this. This is part of the maturity of your own being. Accept what you can do nothing about. It's okay sometimes. There's great strength when you accept that in some moments you are totally helpless. This is a kind of strength. Accept it. Because sometimes we want to do something about what you see, but it's for your own benefit. So just let it do what it wants. It's right for, for this, whatever it is. I don't have to go into the particular case you're talking. In any case, you just be in the stillness. Something has brought you here, and it's doing its work. Stay with this, honor that in yourself, and be with them in the best way you can be. Be true. You see, one man he came satsang some years ago. I think it's the story is also in this book. I wrote, but somehow he says he was diagnosed terminally ill. Then he uh, 
something wouldn't accept it. One of the girls coming to satsang brought him to satsang. And after one or two satsangs, he asked me, can I have a one-to-one -one with you? So we agreed, agreed with him. And he came and I asked him, why you want particularly one-to-one-to-one? -one -to -one? Why not enough like this? He says, well, I, I didn't want to. It's a bit strong subject. and Maybe most people not want to hear that. I said, what do you want to say? He says, I... They tell me I am terminally ill, I am going to die, and I want to die before I die. That's a very rare request, isn't it? And I think you all know what this meaning is. I want to die to what is diable. I want to die to death. I want to die to what is not true before this body goes. I want to use this life well. And then he has left his body now. So, of course, you will feel moments of great grief and sadness, and they will pass and make way for immense space and joy, even, even now, you see. So, these waves might come and go. Don't waste time trying to trying to do something about anything. Be with them in the best way you can be.